Tällä kertaa meillä on haastattelussa Jypi uusi puolustaja Jesper Lindgren. First of all, Jesper, welcome to Jyväskylä. Kiitos. Uh, you've come to your new hometown. Uh, how are you feeling right now? Uh, it feels good. Just had a, had a gym session, uh, two hour long, and feels good to be here. You've met your new teammates. How many familiar faces were there from the past seasons for you? Uh, I probably met a few of the guys uh, when I played in, in HPK, but other than that, I don't know, know anyone privately. <laughs> okay. Uh, you came to Juvaskula yesterday. What's the first impression of your new hometown? Uh, it looks good. I've just been driving through a little bit. Uh, honestly, I haven't done much. I was at the, at the hotel uh, the whole day yesterday. and. Hopefully I can go go look around a little bit after after the next practice. Of course you haven't had much time in the town yet, but there are some similarities uh, between the Finnish and the Swedish culture. How much does this remind of your home? It's pretty it's pretty much the same. Uh, it's just the language and a little harder in the grocery store to understand what you're buying, but uh, other than that it's pretty much the same. How about if we think about the rivalry between uh, Finland and Sweden? Uh, was it a big thing for you when playing in the national team? Uh, was Finland like the team to beat for you? Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> I think all Swedes and Finns feel feel the same. Uh, but now I'm here in Finland. I'm gonna do my best for a Finnish team. So it doesn't matter now. So you played uh, two seasons in uh, Hopeco and of course uh, you won the championship there. What kind of memories you have from the past seasons in Finland? I remember the first year was pretty tough, uh, a little different from Swedish hockey, uh, but I liked it. And uh, yeah, we had a tough year with the team, but uh, the year after we, we played really well and we had a had a solid team and everyone did what, what we needed to win. and. Uh, and obviously that's what you want to do you want to win and it was it was super fun yeah i remember in uh, hope i got the beginning wasn't maybe the easiest but uh, at the end you won the championship so what kind of a learning process was that well you see how hard it is to to win uh, you know guys battling through injuries and just you know you got to go 100% all the time and uh, after you win it's like you know you have a bond forever so that's what you want to do. From Opeco, you left to North America. What was that experience like for you? It was fun. Uh, again, a little different. Uh, we had a really good team, so it was it's hard to, to play as much as I wanted. But uh, I mean, I've been pretty much everywhere it feels like now. And I feel like I'm, I'm still young, but I have a lot of experience. So it was a good, good, good time. In Finland, there is uh, this team first mentality that's pretty big. Uh, was it uh, a big part of the game in uh, AHL when uh, I guess everyone wants to get into the NHL individually? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's obviously not the same because uh, all the guys want to go up and play in the NHL. So I think guys play, play for themselves a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, that's a, that's a little different. From North America, you went back to your home, home country, Sweden. Uh, what did those uh, two seasons offer for you? Uh, yeah, I was in Moda a little bit. Uh, that was more like a loan because uh, the season in North America got cancelled. So, And then I went over, I got traded to Pittsburgh and uh, got injured pretty much right away. Uh, and then I had to do a lot of rehab and stuff and then uh, I signed with my hometown team this year. What was it like uh, battling with all those injuries? I mean, it's it sucks obviously, but uh, you gotta come out stronger, uh, mentally especially. It's tough to, you can't do yeah, pretty much anything for a while uh, and it sucks, but I, f- I feel good now and I'm, I'm happy to be here. At BR Club, and, uh, you played a strong season and uh, it was a pretty lengthy season also yeah. with the team. Yeah, it was super fun to be home, uh, playing in my, in my hometown. Uh, unfortunately, we, we lost in the finals. Uh, the same thing there is a good experience to play play deep in the air and that's that's kind of experience that you can't uh, like get from from not doing it you know there's also in Finland a lot of talk about should there be some kind of qualification for a spot in the top league uh, how is it in Sweden uh, there is a qualification for the places in top league uh, but what's your opinion is it uh, good or bad to have those kind of qualification games I think it's good. Uh, I mean, especially for the fans, uh, you know, every game matters. If you do, if you have a 
bad period during the season, you can be can be a tough spot later later in the season. Uh, obviously, it's not fun for the teams that drops down, but at the same time, you have teams chasing you from the lower leagues too. So, I mean, it's I think it's fun. So I guess it's like a classic uh, example of a heaven or a hell situation. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Um, well, now you have come to Finland, and uh, you, uh, what are you thinking about the next season? Now you met the team, of course. There's a lot of work to do before the season starts. But what's the first experience like? Uh, it's been good. Uh, guys are nice, and uh, I'm looking forward to to starting the season. You know, I have have high expectations on myself. Uh, I feel like being here for two years before is going to help me a little bit, uh, and just just want to help the team win. That's it. Can you promise some crucial goals from the blue line for the Yup fans? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Thanks for the interview. Thank you.